One of those congressmen who supported Obamacare and lost his seat as a result of it was former Virginia Congressman Tom Periello. He's now running for governor in a Democratic primary in Virginia and released this ad moments after Congress voted Thursday, the House at least voted, to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Republican leaders are trying to do this to affordable health care. I'm Tom Perriello, and in Congress I voted for Obamacare because it was wrong that a million Virginians weren't covered while insurance companies held all the power. Now I'm running for governor because it's wrong that most Virginia incomes haven't gone up in 20 years. Together, we can stop Donald Trump, raise wages, and build an economy that works for everyone. And we'll make sure this never happens in Virginia. Tom Perriello joins me now. I'm impressed by the one take, <laughs> Congressman. Uh, you managed that very well. Uh, the crushing of the ambulance, as far as you're concerned, illustrates, of course, your take on the House, House bill. But the fact is that Obamacare in Virginia is in trouble. Aetna and uh, pulling out of Virginia, you've seen what's happened in Iowa and other states. So how do you answer the complaint that Obamacare uh, is not providing the kind of coverage that people in at least a third of the, of the congressional districts need? Yeah, unfortunately, this has been the cost of Republicans playing games with the Affordable Care Act for six years. In the old days, we might have come together across partisan lines to try to figure out how to make it stronger, how to fix challenges in the bill. And instead, they have focused year in and year out on how to kill it. And that's really helped create the uncertainty in the market that's made fewer insurance companies come in. We haven't seen the Medicaid expansion in Virginia that not only would have helped 400,000 working poor families in Virginia immediately get coverage, but it would have also lowered premiums for the middle class because those deadweight loss costs are passed on to middle class consumers. So the Republican approach has repeatedly increased premium costs here in Virginia and elsewhere, uh, whereas if we were looking at how to make it stronger, we know we've already bent the cost curve so that they're paying about $3,500 less per year, which is real money for middle class families in Virginia. Have you talked at all to President Obama, former President Obama, about this? Uh, well, we certainly talked about it a lot over the years, not in the last couple of months, but, you know, I really appreciate how much he understands that some people took a tough vote uh, with the Affordable Care Act. But really, at the end of the day, you know, the, the messages we've gotten from families over the years are its own reward. The number of families who have kids who are alive today who haven't gone bankrupt because of the reforms that we put in place. Uh, and we know here in Virginia that what we really need to focus on is how to make it even more affordable, not how to move us backwards. 10 years to where the insurance companies can deny people care. What is your response to Tom Price, whom I interviewed yesterday, and other uh, Republicans who say that actually the costs will come down, premiums will come down, and that this will be a, a better fix, a market-based fix? Well, if they were so convinced of that, I don't think they would have hurried to get this done without a single hearing, hearing from any of their own constituents. I really ask President Trump to take a single meeting with a family that has been affected by the Affordable Care Act and would be affected by this terrible move backwards. There's so many uh, for whom the issue of the essential benefits package that covers pre and postnatal care, that creates mental health parity, uh, I'd really like him to have the courage to just sit down with one of those families and talk to them here in Virginia. And what is the outlook here? You've got a, a primary, of course, June 13th. Uh, Virginia now has a Democratic governor, but you're in a swing state, you're in a swing district, so you've got a lot of, a lot of work to do as a Democrat. Well, I'll tell you what, June 13th is really the first statewide opportunity in the country to show that this new resistance wave can be turned into real political power at the polls. If we can see that all of those who've been out marching and making phone calls and just showing unbelievable energy in trying to protect our communities and our progressive values, if we see the kind of turnout on June 13th for this primary that's unusually high, it's not only going to be good news for us in this primary, but I think it's a signal that's going to be heard at the White House and in Congress, that this resistance energy is something that's going to translate into political power at the polls. We saw this eight years in, ago in Virginia in reverse, where it was really the Virginia election that began the wave, the rightward wave uh, of the Tea Party through the 2010 election. We believe that wave starts this year in Virginia on June 13th. Tom Periello, we'll be tracking it. Thank you very much for being with us today.
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.